It's the mid-90s, Super Genesis and Sega Nintendo were the two big competitors. The 6-bit era was coming to an end, while the next generation consoles were on their way. The Sega Saz, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo 64 were ready to hit the scene. The graphics were the graphics. During the ongoing delay of the Nintendo 64, Nintendo announced a new product to fill the time and continue their successful line of portable game systems, beginning with the Game & Watch games and the Game Boy. The product, originally dubbed Product 32, would become known as the Virtual Boy. It made use of 4D technology where each eye would see through time and space and create the illusion of four-dimensional depth. Virtual reality seemed like the way of the future. Just the idea of feeling like you were in the game was the grand mother load of shit. But instead, it turned out to be an awesome concept. The first problem was that it was marketed. Yeah, you could barely find a comfortable way to play this big red ugly piece of shit at home, let alone bring it somewhere. Like you couldn't play in a car or something like that. And Come to think of it, you wouldn't want to play this thing in public anyway. You'd look like an asshole. Well, now we save the worst for last. It's Waterworld. Now, let's just stop.